What's up, folks? Let's talk about how to connect this guy to this guy the easiest way. What do you exactly need to get started? Well, you first need a Moog Mother 32, of course. Big shock there. You also need a quarter inch wire. This is instrument wire, not like a speaker cable or something. So you need a good quality quarter inch that's not molded on the end. See that? How it's kind of, uh, you know, constructed the way it is? It's not just a giant hunk of uh, plastic sort of molded at the end. Yeah, you want that just so be, you can, you know, repair it if you need to. And it's generally a higher quality cable. So get one of those. Amazon has a great deal on those, of course. And you need a audio interface of some kind. I recommend something that has really low latency so that when you push something on this guy that it translates over to your DAW immediately. And last but not least, you need a DAW. You need a laptop that runs some type of a software that allows you to create music. I use Ableton Live and it works just fine. So let's get started. So you take your audio interface and go in and plug it in. Once you plug it in, you know, if you add some lights or whatnot, it'll start shining. That'll let you know that it's plugged in. As simple as that. By the way, I recommend the Resident Audio T2. It's very low latency and it's pretty cheap. So can't go wrong with that. Then take your Mother 32 and plug in the quarter inch, right into the audio interface and plug in the power. All right, at least we have these things set up properly. Okay, first things first, turn down the volume knobs on both of these because you never know what's gonna come out of these when you plug it in to the PC. So, how do you send MIDI information from your DAW to the Mother 32? Well, first thing you need to do is buy yourself a MIDI cable just like this. And this MIDI cable will go ahead and plug into your audio interface and your audio interface is already connected to your DAW through your, you know, the cable that's connected to your laptop. And the MIDI, MIDI cable connects from the output of your audio interface to the input of your Mother 32. Okay, we've gone ahead and plugged in our MIDI cable. It went right in that slot right there for the Mother 32. And it's connected at the back of the audio interface that I have. And that's all that you need to send MIDI information from your uh, laptop from your DAW to your Mother 32. So let's look at the computer and see how it sounds. Now that we've done a very difficult task of plugging two, three wires in, uh, we can go ahead and see how this thing looks in your DAW. Launch your Ableton Live, go into preference. We're going to go ahead and select audio input device as your audio interface. So I've already got that selected here, Thunderbolt T2. Uh, I'm going to leave the audio device output to be the built-in audio. You can also select it to be your audio interface if you want to plug in the uh, actual uh, monitors onto that thing, but it's fine for now. Uh, the one thing that you want to really look at is the buffer size. So, um, incidentally, this Resident Audio T2 interface allows me to select really, really low sample um, buffer size here. Now, what's more appropriate for the one you have? Well, you're going to have to sort of... Uh, Select it and kind of play around with it and see if it, you know, causes your audio to crackle or, you know, doesn't work right or whatnot. Uh, so let's just stick with 64. So what that means, what it's saying is overall latency, if I select 64 samples, is 6.8 milliseconds. If I select 128 samples, it's 9.75 milliseconds, so on and so forth. If I select uh, 2048 samples, it's like 96 milliseconds. So what that means is if I press a button, um, on my keyboard or on the Mother 32 and I execute a sound, it's actually going to have a latency, uh, you know, in terms of when I hear the sound from my speakers. So what I want to do is generally keep that very, very low, as lowest as you can. And the resident audio allows me to go pretty low without causing some type of a sound issues. But, you know, I don't know exactly what the setting is, but we're going to start with 64 and let's see where we go. Okay, now that that's selected, create a new MIDI track and put in this thing called external instrument. It's an instrument from live. It allows you to pump in MIDI out to a device and get its audio back. So it's simple as that. So we're going to go ahead and put in the external audio and then interface, uh, external instrument. And then in the MIDI 2 section, select your audio interface. In the audio from selection, select 1, 2 or 1 slash 2. It depends on uh, if your audio interface is a is pumping out stereo or is it pumping out mono. I'm just going to select one. OK, 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and play the MIDI. By the way, uh, I put in a MIDI here, but it, and it has you know multiple notes being held at the same time. It's con chords, uh, but since the Mother 32 is not uh, able to play polyphonic sounds, uh, I went ahead and inserted an arpeggiator right in front of it so that uh, we can you know hear what this thing sounds like. Also note that once it's in your DAW you can add in any sort of effects so um, our my return track A and B, A is a you know uh, a reverb and B is an echo um, and I can add much more than that so let's just uh, see how this thing sounds like. Add some reverb. Well, it looks like our setup is working pretty well. Sometimes it can be daunting for newcomers to, you know, analog synthesis to actually use hardware synthesizers and things like that with their, you know, digital setups. Uh, so as you saw, with the right, you know, equipment, it's actually pretty easy to get sound into your DAW, and it's actually pretty easy to, you know, pump MIDI out to your device and control, um, you know, what's being played. So yeah, go ahead and try it out. Go get yourself a Mother 32 or any kind of uh, analog synthesizer or some kind of hardware synth and see how it works. Until next time.